Well, now that we've made a complete mess with the hydrometer, might as well move on to the alcohol meter. Essentially it works in the same way. It's a glass tube that's hollow that floats in a liquid. Um, alcohol, since it's less dense than water, it's actually going to have the opposite effect. In water, the alcohol meter will float almost all the way up. As that water gets a higher alcohol content, since the alcohol is lower in density, the hydrometer will actually start to sink. Again, we'll demonstrate, and hopefully not break the alcohol meter. When you add it, you'll see that it floats very high in the liquid as the water is more dense. Adding some sugar shine straight off the reflux still, that should have come at, at about 95% alcohol, you'll see that the hydrometer sinks almost all the way. Next we'll take a look at the distiller's parrot. It's basically like the test beaker, except that it provides a constant reading throughout the entire course of your run. We'll put the alcohol meter in and add the alcohol first. Since the alcohol is lighter than water, you'll see that the alcohol meter floats at a very low level. As we add water, however, which is more dense, you'll see the alcohol meter start to pop up higher and higher. Until we have only water in there and a reading of zero. While it does cost a little bit extra, I do find it one of the most beneficial pieces of equipment that makes my life a hell of a lot easier. So that about wraps it up. If you have any questions, please let us know. And hopefully you found this informative. Thanks for tuning in.